Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Alliant Energy, we're on for you. When we think about saving energy, the first thing that usually comes to mind is turning down the thermostat or making sure that we have tight seals on our windows and doors. But you can also save time, money, and energy by using the landscaping around your home. A well-landscaped home site can save you energy dollars and also be environmentally friendly. Joining us is Roger Hunt. He's field director and design specialist with Trees Forever, a nonprofit organization that promotes tree planting. And Roger, tell us about the landscape design that you came up for our powerhouse home. Well, the concept for the powerhouse home is, as you said, Pete, an opportunity for us to enhance our energy efficiency in the out of doors. And one of the major focuses we had on that was to create a landscape that uh, required less mowing, first of all, uh, by utilizing native plants uh, such as uh, native grasses and wildflowers in areas that wouldn't be mowed and native trees that will adapt themselves uh, readily to this particular site. So you really wanted to reduce in terms of just the, the grass that we had to mow, which is always a good thing, saving energy and saving gas there. Uh, also that plays in there in terms of watering the lawn, right? If we don't have that much grass we need to water, that, that plays in there? Oh, absolutely. Uh, grass takes a lot of maintenance, uh, water, fertilizer, and time. And certainly we wanted to save dollars uh, from the watering and the fertilizer, but we wanted to save the uh, residents time in terms of uh, enjoying their yard. Uh, we didn't want to have to have them mowing it all the time, but yet it, we wanted a beautiful landscape. And by utilizing some of these native plant materials, we get all of those things, plus much more. One of the nice things about uh, landscape is that the benefits uh, go beyond uh, one benefit. You've got uh, the energy efficiency benefit, but you've got as well the visual benefit of the diversity of colors and textures and form, but you also uh, then have the benefit of wildlife that will come into your home landscape, uh, all the things that we enjoy and enhance our quality of life. Now, as I look, we're here on the east and look towards the south side of the house, I know you're very interested in terms of the, the tree plantings that we have over here. Yeah, I think uh, when it comes to planting trees for energy efficiency, uh, the primary thing that we need to keep in mind, and I think this is uh, not understood by a lot of folks, is that the best place to plant shade trees for energy efficiency is on the east and southeast side of the house for the, uh, capturing or diverting uh, the, the morning sun and on the southwest and west side for the afternoon sun. Most of the time people will think that we have to plant trees on the south because that's one that's the hottest part of the day. But during the summertime, the sun is high in the sky, the angle is very sharp, and the shadows are much shorter. So if you do plant trees on the uh, south side of the house, you want to make sure that you plant them closer and plant a nice hard uh, wood tree so that you won't get breakage uh, that would anyway damage the house. Another thing that you think about when you're planting trees, or I think about when we're designing those trees, is to try to shade the windows as much as possible. Because uh, when you have a nice, uh, nicely designed home like this with all the latest technology in terms of construction materials, uh, we want to still shade those windows because it still acts like a greenhouse. And when the sun hits the window and goes into the house, it radiates that heat throughout the house. So the more that we can plant shade trees out here, for example, there's a great big sugar maple here out on the east side of the house. And once it gets mature, uh, it will provide shade for all these windows here actually on the east side of the house, uh, thus okay. reducing uh, energy uh, needs there. And then what about on the, on the northwest side, Roger? Okay, on the north side of the house, we planned, uh, well, there's, first of all, there's a very steep slope out there uh, north of the garage area. And so one of the things that we wanted to do was take that out of mowing because it was just impossible with that kind of slope to mow it. So this was an ideal place to plant evergreen trees. Uh, we're proposing uh, white pine as a native species and a few spruce to just add variety out there. And then we'll again, once again, bring in this native grasses and wildflowers so that this, this whole theme is carried throughout the site. And uh, we can get away from uh, mowing that area, but also we give a windbreak uh, in the wintertime so that we don't get that wind coming in and, and going into the garage doors when they're open and, and into the house. Uh, we also uh, provide a nice scent in the spring time with the white pines out there and uh, it just has a great habitat for songbirds as well. So Roger, really people need to think about you know, landscaping in their home and, and, the, and the big play that it has in terms of energy reducing the energy usage and again being environmentally friendly. That's really what you've brought into play here. Absolutely, that's what we tried to do, uh, Pete, on this project. Uh, you can save between 10 and 30 percent of your energy bill, typically research has shown by doing proper placement of plant materials around your house.
Some great tips, Roger, we appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure, Pete. Thank you. And when we come back on Powerhouse, we're going to take a look at outside lighting and how it can provide you security and also enhance your home.